So I've found this um, old dishwasher pack plastic lid and I've uh, gone ahead and measured a 4x4 four four square roughly and that's going to serve as our server um, sort of bracket. So it's, uh, I'm going to cut this out and then cut down the middle so I have two, two identical rectangular pieces and I'm going to sandwich them and then just measure this out. Um, and yeah, that's sort of the plan. So two, so this will two inches will be attached to the acrylic base, and then two will hang off, and then that's where the servo is gonna be mounted. So let's go ahead and start cutting that out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try and glue this as best I can, and in a one fell swoop. So three, two, one. So I've gone ahead and double side taped the back end. And I'm just gonna mount it um, to the base and just make sure that this. Uh, is lined up with the middle so that the sensor sits directly in the middle of the robot. So let's go ahead and mount it. We're gonna take our sensor right here, just uh, make sure it's uh, straight, straight ahead, and then pull it directly off. So we want the wire facing this way. Push down till it clicks. I'm going to go ahead and put this upright temporarily and then mount this piece so we stand up make sure it's straight and there we go dude awesome PWM ground, so then all we need to do is plug this in here and then take I'm going to wire it to the sides here and then just match up the colors so we got blue green yellow and orange I'm going to give it some slack because it's going to turn. So I'm thinking is getting a zip tie, 
coming through this hole here. This is just so it doesn't touch the wheel. I'm gonna give it as much slack as possible. You know what, I think it's better if we come up front, so line it through there and just loosely tie it. Don't even like tighten it down just enough just to hold it in place like so. And then feed. Sweet! Trim that end bit, and we are in business. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Nomad, the wandering robot. Okay. Now that physical assembly is complete, it is now time to power it on and test everything. Uh, just noticed that this sort of looks off center, but it's really not. This is actually mount, so it actually is kind of tilted to the right but this servo is facing straight or straight enough so it's good it's good in my book um, okay so we need a USB cable we're gonna power this in on and then head over to the terminal or sublime and see if we can get this working hey guys we're gonna go ahead and set up the Raspberry Pi camera I'm going to make the assumption that you've already gone ahead and um, hooked it up to your Raspberry Pi. So let's go ahead and set that up in the environment. So we're going to do a sudo raspy-config. Um, go to interfacing options and camera. You would just, mine's already set to yes, but you'd move over to yes, hit enter, okay. Go to finish. Um, it'll probably prompt you to reboot. Go ahead and do that. So then once that's set up, we're gonna have to set up the streaming service. So for the robot, we're going to use UV4L. And this is sort of a, lightweight um, streaming video streaming service for Linux uh, it has pretty good performance uh, in my experience so it'll work well for this robotics ap application so go ahead and get on this site and follow along the, the directions I'll go ahead and walk you through it Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is run this curl command. Now that that's done, go ahead and so I messed up. We're gonna go and edit our sources list. So do a pseudo nano. And we're going to append the raspy and jesse command to the bottom. Go ahead and write that. So now after that, go ahead and update
Alright, now let's go ahead and upgrade UV4L. Now that that's done, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip the driver loaded at boot because I just want to run it when the script runs. So now that that's installed, let's go ahead and test it out. We're going to just uh, send a command to start the server. Looks like we forgot to install this package, so let's go ahead and do that. The UV4L server is the one that we actually need. All right, now that that's done, I've actually had it running in the background, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill the service and restart. Um, let me pull that command real quick. Let's start it again. All right, now that that's done, our web page should render this time. Sweet, and now it does. So it's just your Raspberry Pi IP address and port 8080 um, by default so then go ahead and click on still stream so this is your this is my live stream from the Raspberry Pi camera right now the, the robots just facing a wall so you don't see anything but now that we know this is working that's good and uh, that's pretty much it now you have it set up so how it's gonna work in the script essentially is when we run our main loop we're gonna activate this command and then when we exit we're just gonna kill the service um, so that sort of means that you're going to have to have a laptop or computer handy so that way you can log into the the web um, website to view the camera. I haven't really built a front end for it at this moment in time, but I plan on doing that in the near future. But yeah, so now we have uh, live stream capabilities on the Pi and the robot, so awesome. Alright, this is the final test of Nomad. We're gonna go and load the script. Run it, it's running now. Um, log into the camera stream. And 
now that that's going on, go ahead and orbit it. Kick off the obstacle avoidance. Kill it. Red has ended. X Valid screw it. Alright guys, it works. Our first budget robotics build is a success. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any recommendations on what I should do differently for my next build um, if you enjoy the channel you know leave a like and subscribe I will post all the necessary parts and the code um, on my website there will be a link in the description and yeah thanks for watching peace